It must be said that my last YouTube video wasn't great, so in this video I will attempt to improve the quality of the video by first focusing on the video quality. By that, I will be 3D printing three designs of phone stands that will allow me to get better video shots of my subjects. My first design, dubbed the camera rail for obvious reasons, is designed to support an iPhone 11 non-pro as it is tra traversed along the length of the 8mm diameter rods. Now, before I get too far ahead in the design, I'll first point out that the design is 3D printing hobbyists in mind. As the hardware used is most common in 3D printers. As I said earlier, I'm using 8mm diameter rods for the rail. And that means I'm also using LM8UU linear bearings. I'm also using M3 fasteners throughout the construction. Now, in order to operate the design, if it isn't already obvious enough, this thumb screw here is used to loosen and tighten the hinge, allowing you to change the angle of the foam. And this thumb nut here is used to tighten the strap that secures the foam. My next design, dubbed the camera stand, is used to get stationary shots with different heights. Now, similar to my previous design, this design is based off of hardware commonly used in 3D printers and the fasteners are the same as well as some of the components designs are also the same. Again, similar to my previous design, the adjustment is made using the thumb screws here, which in turn allows you to alter the angle of each support struts. As for my last design, it is my take on a 3D printed tripod. Again, the hardware used here is the same, so I'm not going to go through it again. As for the operation, each leg is adjusted individually by loosening and tightening the thumb screws here. The thumb screw here is used to change the angle of the phone, and the last thumb nut is used to change the angle to which the phone is pointing. Right, it is time to put my first design to the test.
Overall, I think the design is far from perfect, and so I will revisit them in a future episode. My first improvement would be, would be to see if it's possible to use less 3D printer filament by incorporating large cutouts when the material is unnecessary. My next improvement will be to, to see if it's possible to remove inter the interference fits used within the design, as most 3D printers vary considerably in tolerance and print quality. It might be worth using fasteners to form the connection between the rods and the 3D printed components as a more reliable method of connection. As for my last critique of my design, I would change, like to change the design of the phone holder as it is designed for an iPhone 11. It will fit m most phones that are the same size and smaller, but if you can make the phone holder into a more flexible design, it should be able to hold any current phone. I've also left links in the description as the designs can be downloaded for free from the Thingiverse's website. One final note, after looking at the footage from the camera rail, I would suggest the use of solid polymer bearings rather than linear ball bearings as this will produce the best result. Right, it's time to end the video. Next time I will be continuing with the gearbox design but I will be attempting to improve the video by improving the audio quality. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to see you on the next video.